hey everybody what's up and welcome back to the channel as you can see we got a new face here today my beautiful baby girl charlie bella we're just going to be washing and doing her hair starting off with just getting it all nice and wet with the warm water opening up <laughs> opening up her follicle and so everything can just penetrate nice and easily yep this is going to be an adventure this is day one now for a message from my baby Ride. gonna be using that tea tree mint shampoo now that you guys have the directions for my baby please like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel leave a comment and just keep them coming keep on coming back i'll have more things to show you but yeah as we're going more into it we're just going to shampoo her hair she sweats like crazy so i more so focus on the scalp and then with the tea tree mint oil it's just good therapy for the scalp it leaves your hair just feeling open and you just feel all of the breeze when it comes to her ends of her hair i don't scrub because the hair is at its weakest when it's wet so i just kind of rake the soap through her strands just to get whatever i can off and yeah as you can see look at that that wave pattern her hair just looks so much better now that it's clean i love clean hair and if y'all could smell what this sink was smelling like with this shampoo whoo you already know now this brush for any of my kinky coily baby with the moms and your daughter just hates having her hair combed get you one of those brushes those things are especially made to you know go through the knots well not go through them but help with the knots and just detangling it it just makes everything a lot better going in making sure we scrub out all that soap in the back I work in sections so as you can see now we're at the front we had to turn baby love around and we're going to go ahead and make a natural hair thing so I put this coconut miracle oil on her hair before I stopped just to get some of the tangles out and put some type of conditioning on her hair so with this hair concoction I'm getting ready to make you need honey honey is great for the hair it's good for elasticity and a few other things but i know elasticity elasticity stuck out to me if i said that right you want to take extra virgin olive oil now this stuff is great as well we all know oil helps lock in the moisture and you can get these things from your local poppy store shop right so any supermarket hell you might be able to go into your pantry right now and have all of it but you just want to have a nice even consistency of both and her hair is pretty thick so i know that you guys might think this is a lot but trust me this is just enough you're not putting it on her on the scalp for me i'm just going to put it on the ends you want to put this in the microwave for about 30 seconds as you can see i've done that it's all liquidy now and you want to stir it up some more just to get everything all nice and meshed well together here's the good part look at all that beautiful hair it is so thick and just natural so i go ahead and put it in now i don't put this on her scalp i put it on the ends of her hair i try to rake it through you don't want to put oil on an already open scalp you don't want to clog up the pores so i just rake everything through her hair just a couple times just making sure it's on her ends you know trying to get the knots out in the process as we go and still putting everything in that's what i'm doing here making sure i get the strands and also getting whatever knots out that i can and yep that's that one section and we're going to move on to the next Alrighty guys, so now at this point, this here is a plastic shopping bag. You can get these at any store that you go to, Macy's, Poppy Store, Best Buy, Supermarket. These things can be used as trash bags and as we're going to be using right here, hot oil treatment kit. 
Well, I kept just to let everything sit and catch some heat. All right, there goes my beautiful baby love, my little pride and joy, my crazy baby. All right, so this is the interesting part. That's the blow dryer, and this is my Elegante hooded something like dryer. I just got this jam from Amazon, and you, when I tell you this thing is awesome, oh my God, this little part right here is a game changer. So you know how normally when you're sitting under the dryer, your tip of your forehead, your ears, or the back of your neck might start getting, you know, a little burnt? This thing right here, it basically acts as a barrier to keep everything cooled off or you know not get that little burning sensation that way you're able to sit longer and you know if you sit longer it makes your treatments better they get to penetrate the follicle a lot better now she was kind of making this a little difficult because as you can see she just cannot be still but yeah it was awesome to work with this thing now this part that i'm getting ready to show you guys right here that thing oh my god if anybody else has ever used these you know this part this thing came in handy and it did not come off the whole time there she blows i turned it on and look at it y'all it just looks awesome she's crazy but yeah we're just gonna have her sit under this thing oh I had to make some adjustments but yeah, we're just going to have her sit under this thing for maybe about five to ten minutes. Yeah. But not that long. She is a weirdo, but she's my weirdo. She's telling y'all that this is part two. Well, actually, this is part three. I don't know what part this is. Doing her hair literally is a couple day process. She does not like getting her hair done. She's going to be so mad at these close ups. Look at them lashes, look at those eyes. My pretty little baby. She ain't no baby no more. But there we are, this part comes to a close. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on. All right, so we are at the blow drying part, y'all. We're almost half, well, this is at the halfway point. So when you blow dry, you always wanna start from the end and work your way up to the roots because you just don't wanna pull any knots out because with that knot is going to come some hair and you just don't want that so it's more likely that you won't if you go from the bottom up to the top and look at her hair it is so brown now her hair is brown which is crazy because my son if y'all ever see him we call him red sometimes like his hair is red I don't know I don't know but all that long luscious goodness she hates getting her hair done. I don't understand why. All right, y'all. I'm working on the next section here. And at this point, baby love is just over getting her hair done. She's trying to be a good sport. And I appreciate her for that. But as y'all can see, she's just not feeling it no more. So we're just going to go ahead and blow dry her hair through. And then we're just going to go ahead and put it into the sections for the four braids. She's going to go to bed after this. She's had enough for today. Go ahead and give those ends just a little teeny trim. I trim her ends maybe about every other time I do her hair. Don't want to get too scissor happy. But look at this. My baby is so beautiful. Yeah, y'all. Y'all see that look on her face. She is like, girl, hurry the hell up. I'm ready to go to bed. This YouTube shit. I'm tired. That's one thing about Charlie. When she is sleepy, she is sleepy. There is nothing nobody can say or do to change that. And when Charlie says she going to sleep, Charlie going to sleep. <laughs> but yep, that's how we had her for the night. This is the next day. We had to make some runs. So she wanted me to put two ponytails in there. I did. And now we're starting off. So I got to make my first part. So she wanted two buns in her hair. I didn't feel like doing all that extra all right, y'all, and to moisturize the scalp, we're gonna be using the Baby Don't Be Bald. Now, this stuff is amazing. I'm telling you guys, if you're having trouble growing your baby's hair, this stuff will work. Or if you're having trouble with dry scalp on your baby, this stuff will work. It's not extra heavy. It doesn't leave any gook on their hair, and it just works well. Back when she was bald-headed and I was hoping she wasn't gonna be bald-headed, when I use this stuff, oh my goodness, it really ramped up 
her hair growth process. So I'm gonna just do two rows in the back and then I'm going to braid her front up into one big bun. I just didn't feel like doing the two buns up into a ponytail. I don't know why I don't ask. I just felt this way would be awesome. There goes Ronnie. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and start the braid. Now, I was doing feed-ins for this part. So you just go ahead and you braid the hair a little bit and then you just, you know, feed in the hair as you go. I'm just gonna be doing pink, purple, pink, purple, pink, purple. But for whatever reason, to me, my feed-in braid did not look good. I just did not like the look of it. It was looking bulky and I just, I just didn't like it. So I'm going to proceed and finish it out and of course take it down because I was having some trouble with the feed-ins. But on this next one here that you see, I'm just going to go ahead and braid her actual hair down and then just put the weave onto the end. I'm just gonna feed it into the ends of her hair. I find this as a better method because one, it was easier, and then two, she has very sensitive skin like me, and then I know that some of these pack hairs, they come with things on them to keep them clean or to keep them fresh. And I know for me a few times, it's made my hair, my scalp very itchy when the weave hair is sitting on my scalp. So I think this is a better method as well. Um, it'll eliminate or lessen the chances of her having itchy scalp. And this way, the braid to me just looked a whole lot neater. As you can see the one on the side, it just looks bulky and it's, it's just not cute. Not to mention that I'm still fresh and learning this feed and stuff. So this way just seems a whole lot easier. So yep, we're gonna go with method two, not that first one over there. We're gonna speed this up cause this shit is too much. Alrighty guys, now that that speeding process is over, we're over here to the front and just wanted to snazz it up a little bit. So I'm gonna put this braid going forward and then the same thing as well, just add the pink and purple onto the ends. Once again, Charlie is over it, but she's being a good sport this time. She definitely wants her hair done. We have a party. Her cousin Simi is having a birthday party this weekend, so she's, being more than a good sport because she wants to get her hair done for the party. And this part, oh my God, I love it so much. Me and my daughter have a fetish when it comes to our edges. She, this 48 hour edge tamer nail, it's not the best thing since sliced bread, but as far as for our hair texture, it seems to work better than most. I at least get about maybe an hour worth of hold down, especially if I wrap it up. But yep, we're just gonna go ahead and speed through this process. It's all the same thing. All the braids are going mostly the same way except for the little two on the side. But yeah, and look at her scalp. It's just, I love fresh, clean hair. Her scalp looks all nice and white and pristine. Her hair is just nice and shiny. And look how that edge tamer got her edges laying. All right, y'all, so more so near the end. So here I'm putting beads on the end of my baby's hair just so the hair can have some weight on it and stay down. This thingy right here works wonders. This is a bead wand. Any of moms that put beads in their daughter's hair, you already know. This thing saves you time for real. And the girlies can even do it themselves if they want to interchange their beads if you're comfortable with your child doing it. 
All right, y'all, this is the last spray. We're adding our pink and our purple, and my model esque baby is all done. Look at her. Look at my little light, bright, damn near white baby. She is so cute, and she really thinks she popping, y'all. Like, y'all should see her walking around the house. She flicking her hair everywhere. All you hear is clickety clack, clickety clack with the damn beads. My son being a little hater, he want to pull it out. But Charlie got her nice hairdo. She got her pink and purple hair. She's happy, which in turn makes me happy. I look a mess, but as long as my kids look right, it don't matter about me. Once again, guys, please like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell if you want to be notified whenever we make another video, and just to let you know, I appreciate all the love. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Once again, like, subscribe, keep coming back. Thanks for the love. Deuces.